Okay, in today's video we'll be continuing the, uh, the second part, our day two of the 30-day uh, project that we're going to be doing. Uh, today we'll be con like just uh, opening and opening up this and starting the Factory Talk Studio application we're going to be re running. We'll be doing a Factory Talk um, SE system, and it'll be the uh, View Site Edition Network Distributed. So we will not be using uh, a primary secondary this will just be a primary solution but uh, you know with that, with that said uh, we'll be making another uh, brand new one so um, again we'll, we'll just go ahead and go through the motions so this would be the uh, we'll just call this the motion Stay controlled motion app. Okay, stay controlled motion. Um, yeah, we'll put app. That way we know. And we'll go ahead and start it. Let it create itself. And uh, first and foremost, we're not going to necessarily go ahead and do our screens. We're going to do the initial setup. And what, what I mean by that is. <clears throat> We need to set up our data server, we need to set up our RS links, we need to set up our alarming, our shortcut, our users. Uh, so in users, basically we come up here and you know set up, make sure our users are in there. We need to set up our security. Um, what I'm going to basically do is just go in and first off we want to add in an HMI server. So. We want to create a new server. We don't want to copy an existing import or attach to it, uh, an existing one. We want to make a brand new one. And then this will be, again, this will be the uh, motion app. Motion app server. Go ahead and verify that. You know, it's it's making the project right now. So as you see, it's making the project. And again, this has no screens yet. This won't have anything. This would be the basic uh, structure that it, it, it has naturally, right? So we don't have anything added to it. Um, do we want to have all this stuff added? Um, it doesn't hurt. So I'll just have these default screens in there. We may or may not use some of this stuff. Uh, most likely not. Uh, probably will be. Uh, no, don't look like I'll be using any of it. But I'm gonna go ahead and add it anyway. So okay. So with that said, uh, we need to go ahead and have uh, our basically. Uh, we want to add a new area, and we're gonna call this data server. Sorry. So this would be called data server. And then under data server, we want to go ahead and have our RS links. So once you go in there, you just right click and you go to add new server. Instead of a HMI server, you want to go to uh, Rockwell Automation Device Server, so RS Links Enterprise. And then <coughs> RS Links Enterprise is fine, we'll rename it. Uh, redundancy again we're not going to use redundancy uh, we will be using alarming so what we want to do is we're not going to use the alarm history right now because we may come back and add a database but currently we do not have a database so we want to uncheck this because we we do you know well of course I have a selection here but we may come back and, and add our own personal uh, one for this project so, but we, in the meantime, we do we are going to be doing alarming, and we're going to be doing severities. So we'll be doing those with ALMDs, uh, and I'll show you how to do that further in the, into uh, the application. So again, we're not using redundancy. We're we're going to go ahead and set up our enterprise. We're going to hit apply right now, and then what this does is it sets up our RS links. So in the RS links path. 
right? So we're going to have our basically our emulator. Uh, we're not going to be scrolling to the natural path because we're going to be using the, the back plane. Um, we're going to be using the emulator processor. So the RS Logix Emulate 5000 chassis, and that'll be done through the 1789 uh, back plane right here. It shows that. We don't currently have it loaded, so I won't won't add anything right now. What I will do is what we call our program the uh, YouTube 30 Day Challenge, right? So what <clears throat> what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and call our shortcut YouTube just for this this reason. You can name it whatever you want. We can name it shortcut. Um, I just you know, I'm just going to go ahead and put it in a chassis. Let's see, what, what we're going to use is, I believe it's chassis one, I believe we put it in. We can put that in number two. So let's go back and just to keep everything itemized. Um, and we'll co probably come back and remake this anyway. But we'll come in and in that instance, we want to apply. This would be our shortcut we're making. We apply it. We want to also come back and verify. It. See, being that we we checked. Now, let me uh, let me show the whole screen right here. So let me show the whole screen. And okay, so in this instance where we have alarms and events. The alarms and events need to be enabled on the shortcut or else you will not populate any alarms and events. So we'll go ahead and populate the alarms and events. Again, after you do that, you hit apply. And then after that, we want to verify. All right. So um, in that, that instance. We want to verify what we did, right? Come down here and then we hit OK and close that. So we'll, again, we'll come back and revisit that later. Um, you just want to kind of show the, uh, the first setup of that, right? So we want to show the <coughs> first setup of the how to install or how to add the uh, HMI server. Had the had a, a different area and then add a um, RS Links Enterprise. So basically where our shortcuts would be. In this instance we want to go ahead and add security. So in security we probably should we will have all users um, for the purpose of what I'm doing. I'm going to have like a operator then I'm going to have an admin. So I'm going to go in here and I want to remove all users. I'm going to add. And I want to go to show all users. Operator is one I want to have. And then I want to have uh, I want to have administrators. So we'll have those two to set up security. And the reason I'm doing operator is because I'm going to have a task in there or a, a, a process in there that, that signs in the operator when it starts when I do my startup macro. So I want to have the operator. It's going to call the operator to sign in first. So um, without further ado, we'll go ahead and save that. So we, you know, since then we've saved our security. Um, basically, we already had. If you did not have uh, user groups or anything of that nature and you didn't have any kind of users down here, all you got to do is simply come in here and add new, um, enter in your information, um, like for instance the operator. If you looked at that, we made that and then we had the um, password that never expires. In the user group we call it admins. So and as far as that goes, um, we'll come back and in the next couple videos we'll start adding screens and stuff. <clears throat> we'll do like a header screen. We'll do a sidebar. We'll do a footer. 
we'll start showing how all that kind of ties together. You know, as far as <coughs> excuse me, as uh, <coughs> as far as setting up a setting up a macro, um, you know, as far as the application and everything of that nature. So uh, we'll be adding some VBA code to auto sign out some stuff, but um, we'll, and then we'll go ahead and start doing the screens. But without you know further ado, we'll go ahead and uh, probably let's see we're at the ten minute mark right here. I mean we can add. I would say let's go ahead and uh, being that we we just let's just go over this real quick and finish this out so that kind of go over what we did. Um, and then we'll add our, or come back on the next videos, um, like probably day four, day five. Uh, we'll come back and, and revisit this and add more screens. Or add, we'll start, add our macro. We'll add our client keys. We'll add our sign-ins, um, stuff of that nature. And then come back and, and probably add our header, footer, and stuff of that. So, um, again, with that said, uh, so what we did so far is we had made our application up top right for our state controlled motion app we did um, our we added the <coughs> HMI server and in the, in the HMI server again we're not running a redundancy we're not doing any components right now we're just on demand so redundancy will be disabled um, so that's adding our HMI server we added an area right this is just an area we call it data server and in the data server um, we added our RS links and so what that does is it makes us have to, when we call a tag a direct tag we're gonna have to put data server in front of it which is no big deal but it itemizes it down to a best practice that, that Rockwell likes to do um, so you break down you don't just have a generic uh, place you go to for your RS links enterprise so you won't just pull up RS links and just have it you know throughout the app and be a low level that it'd be an equal level as your application or as your HMI server and then so at this point we came down and we opened up uh, and we went through redundancy again we're not using redundancy if we did we would have checked that and basically made the redundancy we're not in this case um, we are using alarms and events so we check the box for enable alarms and event support we're going to be using severity so um, we'll, have, we'll be using basically multiple colors for our ALMDs that we're going to be adding and uh, again we'll, we'll get into that a little further um, down the road uh, this being day two uh, which is just showing the implementation of the starting of the HMI system we'll be coming back and, and showing you know getting a little bit further in depth in this stuff so um, anyway to go back over that we enabled this um, and this gets our ability to have alarms through our shortcut. We came in and we may um, go back and, and redo our shortcut, um, but right now our shortcut is set to uh, you know slot three or slot two. We just named it YouTube. Uh, so just keep in mind that shortcut name could be anything. We just named it YouTube so that this is what we're going to be doing. Right, this is the 30-day YouTube project. Um, I'm showing that um, we did make the shortcut process type our shortcut type of processor <clears throat> all right so it's a processor we did enable uh, alarms and events so that's how you actually get your alarms when the ALMD populates that's how you would get your alarms through the alarm summary we did come back and, and verified everything and then we shut that down we did add our users we came back in security, uh, added our users. I'm not saying we're done with that, but we added the basic two users that we have, and we basically just you know went through that as far as adding security. Um, that's fairly simple. Just come down here, uh, you know, you open that up, click accounts. I'll go back through that again. So click uh, security accounts, and then when you do that, you just add, click add, and then select what you want to. Um, and then you can come down and select exactly what they have, what they're able to see. Um, we're probably going to go ahead and check these, uncheck these so that the operator can't see A, B, and C. Because that way we have some kind of separation between admins and operators. 
So with that said, we saved that. We're right at our 15 minute mark, so we'll go ahead and stop this video. Um, again, this is day two, so um, this would be our this is part of our, our 30 day uh, YouTube uh, full application that we're going to be running in HMI system through our, our state machine controlling servos. So again, uh, we'll be I'll be going back throwing the uh, other videos in the show notes below. But um, again, I, I just I appreciate you. I appreciate your time to, and uh, and your support. So um, just continue keeping on, we'll, and hopefully we'll we'll show more in depth and in more detail about, about what we're doing. So as this thing progresses, it's going to get better and better, and you'll see more and more about what's going on. Okay, so again, thank you for your time, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.